Hey guys, so I'm starting this series on how to build a social media app using Laravel. So in part one of the series, we'll start with setting up the Laravel project, the database, as well as authentication and our post controller and model. So if this is something you like to learn how to do, then watch this video. So we'll be using Laravel for this project. So you'll have to have your code and environment set up to allow Laravel to be installed. So I have other videos on my channel on how to set up a coding environment so you can check that out. Okay, and once you have that installed, you wanna to go to your code editor and then we're going to do Laravel new, call this social media app. Okay, great, and now it's creating our project here. Okay, great, and then we have our Laravel app here installed and then now let's go and configure our environment variables. Okay, so back in VS Code. So I'll just open up that folder. Okay, so here's our app and what you wanna do is here in .env. Okay, so next what you wanna do is connect your database here. So we're gonna be using MySQL. So I'm gonna use table plus. So you just want to uncomment these ones here. Okay, and then I'm gonna use MySQL. Okay, and then add in your password here. Okay, and save, and then open up your database program. Okay, and then I'm gonna create a new database here, and I'm gonna call it social media social media project. Okay, so we have our table here. Now let's migrate our Laravel application. So go back into VS Code. Okay, and what you wanna do is open up the terminal. Okay, and then what you wanna do is PHP artisan migrate. Let me just double check our ENV variables here. So it should be my sql okay so just over here make sure it's all lowercase so it should be my sql let's save that and then let's try again okay so it's now asking do you want to create the database on your mysql connection okay and let's just double check our database name here so it's social media project so that's correct so we can say yes Okay, and let's check our database app. Okay, and refresh. Awesome, so we can see we have our database migrated to MySQL now. Okay, so next let's add in user authentication so people can create accounts. So I'll just clear the terminal here. Okay, so first what we need to do is install Laravel Breeze to this project. So do composer require Laravel Breeze dash dash dev do php artisan breeze install so I'll just clear this so php artisan breeze install and then we're going to use blade with alpine okay dark mode support I'll just say no for now and then use php unit okay and that will install air bulb breeze okay great so this has been installed so next what we want to do is also install the npm packages so do npm install and npm run dev okay so we need to do npm install and npm run dev okay great so now we have our login and register here so we can click into register and then we have our register page here so let me just make an account Great, so we're logged in. Okay, so next I'm gonna create the models for posts so we can create a social feed. Okay, so back in VS Code. Okay, so first what we need to do is create our post model. So we're gonna do PHP artisan make model posts dash M. Okay, so now that will create the model and the migration file here. So first what we need to do is 
open up the migration here. Okay, and then we'll update the schema. It's gonna be connected to a user ID. So we need to do table unsigned big integer, then user ID, as well as the content. So table string content. And then we'll add in the foreign key to connect the post to the user to table foreign user ID references ID on users. And then on delete cascade. Okay, and then close that out and save. And then next, let's go into our post model. And then we can fill this out. Okay, so over here, we'll use factory. So use has factory. And then we'll update the billable. So protected billable is equal to user ID and then content. Okay, and then public function user. Return this belongs to user class okay and close that off and then we can do our migration again so php artisan migrate okay and then we, we can check our our database now okay and then refresh and now we have a new post table over here. Okay, so next let's work on setting up the controller. So what you want to do is PHP artisan, make controller, post controller, okay, and then open that up. Okay, what we want to do is import our post model here. So do post, import that. Okay, and then we're going to create our index feed. So this is our main social media feed. So public function index. So we'll gather all our posts. So posts equal to posts with user. Order by created at. So it's going to be the newest post. And then get those posts and then return the index post view. So return view post.index and then compact our data. And then we just need to wrap these in brackets. Okay. And then next we need to create our create store and destroy function. So let's do that. So first is the create. So public function create. And then we'll just return the create form. And then next the store function. So public function store. So again, this will take the data from the create form and, and persist it to the database. So requests, requests. Just a little typo here. So first you want to validate the data. So request validate. Content. And this will be required string max 250 characters 
Okay, and then we'll create the posts. So we'll do posts, create, So you'll need the user ID. Auth ID. Okay, and then the content. So we'll get that from the form. Okay, just a little typo here. It'd be a comma. Same as here, and then that closes it off, so that works. Okay, and then we'll return the user back to the index with the success message. Okay, and then close that off. Okay. And then just add the closing brackets. Okay, great, so this is good. And then lastly, we can finish up with the delete function. So underneath the store function, we can do public function destroy. Now take the posts. And then I'll just delete that post. So this authorize delete posts. Okay, and then post delete. and then return the user to the index. Okay, and then close that up. Okay, great. So in the next part of the series, I'll continue with setting up the routes and the views in our social media application. But in this video, we were able to get started with our Laravel app and set up the environment variables and database and set up basic authentication with Breeze and our model and controller. So this concludes the end of part one of the series on how to build a social media app using Laravel. If you'd like help with your Laravel project or web design project, then you can contact me at maplitmedia.ca. Please like and subscribe to stay up to date with the series and thanks for watching.